we're going to show you a correction of transverse hammer toe deformities utilizing minimally invasive surgery and we'll discuss that as well while we're talking about the surgery. This patient had a fairly significant transverse hammer toe deformities in the second, third, fourth, and to some degree fifth uh, met, uh, toes. So what we did to correct this is osteotomies of the proximal phalanx and, and also the middle phalanx in the second and third toe. This allowed uh, a positioning of the toes into a more rectus position, taking pain away from the patient. So may, first we started with a lateral uh, incision on the second toe, and this is done uh, down to the periosteum, and it's freed up utilizing a small rasp. This will be the path of the burr in which we make the osteotomy on the proximal phalanx. So we make the osteotomy proximal phalanx here, and we wedge this over. In this particular patient, and this is the way we do it now, we're not, in, we're not cutting any of the tendons. So we're preserving the tendons, and we are actually doing a correction by osteotomy only. This is the placement of the osteotomy, and we're taking, doing a wedge osteotomy. We also do an osteotomy on the um, middle phalanx as well to allow even more correction of the toe. It's not necessary to uh, cut the tendons in these types of patients uh, because it actually will get a better correction by doing double osteotomies and uh, having the strength of the, of the tendons to help you with the healing. This is uh, showing the middle phalanx as we cut that. And we went ahead and did this on uh, digits two through four, and on the fifth we just did a proximal uh, phalanx osteotomy. So we did all three toes in the center with two, os two osteotomies and the uh, and a small toe with a, with a single osteotomy. So this is how it looks on the table. And what we'll do, we'll bandage this over lateral to kind of give us a, a good uh, straight toe. In this particular patient, we didn't do, some people do osteotomies on the, on the metatarsals, but really you don't have to in the majority of patients unless the second MPJ or the third MPJ is dislocated. If it's not dislocated, you can correct this condition and have patients pain free. Now this is a, uh, we sutured these up, these little small things, small uh, incisions. You can also use sutures to suture toes together temporarily to give you, to give you some uh, stabil stabilization after the surgery. With this particular patient, we just bandaged her toes over and had a great result with her. Um, and she's pain free now for over three years. This is post-op three months. So you can see a lot of correction there. Patient was doing pretty well. You know that these patients uh, can get back to normal activity easy. That's how it looked pre-op. And then uh, I think we have one. This is three years post-op. So you can see the second toe a little bit of drifting medial, but still way better than before and staying in place. Uh, no, no uh, patient has a hundred percent recovery with zero pain.